Hey guys today we will discuss about how honey affects your body badly so let's start the video. Did you know that the world consumes over 1.8 million metric tons of honey every year? That's an astonishing amount when you think about it. Honey is not just a sweet treat, it's a global phenomenon that has captured the hearts and taste buds of people from all corners of the world. That's a lot of honey. Imagine the sheer volume of flowers and the tireless work of bees that go into producing this golden nectar. Each jar of honey is a testament to the intricate dance of nature and the industriousness of bees. This golden liquid has been a staple in our diets and traditional medicine for centuries. From ancient Egypt to modern-day kitchens, honey has been revered not just for its sweetness but also for its medicinal properties. It's been used to treat wounds, soothe sore throats, and even as a natural preservative. We love it for its sweetness and versatility. Whether drizzled over pancakes, stirred into tea, or used as a glaze for roasted meats, honey adds a unique flavor and richness to a wide array of dishes. Its ability to blend seamlessly into both sweet and savory recipes makes it a favorite ingredient for chefs and home cooks alike. But like any other food, honey comes with its own set of benefits and risks. While it's packed with antioxidants and has antibacterial properties, it's also high in sugars. This means that while it can be a healthier alternative to refined sugar, it still needs to be consumed in moderation. It's important to understand these to make informed decisions about our diet and well-being. By educating ourselves about the nutritional content and potential health impacts of honey, we can enjoy its benefits while minimizing any risks. Let's delve deeper into the sweet, and sometimes bitter, truth about honey. While it can enhance the flavor of many dishes, it's not always the best choice for everyone. People with certain health conditions, like diabetes, need to be particularly cautious about their honey consumption. Honey's popularity stems from its natural origin and perceived health benefits. The process of harvesting honey is a fascinating one, involving careful extraction from beehives and ensuring the bees are not harmed. This natural origin is a big part of why many people prefer honey over artificial sweeteners. It's a natural product, made by bees from the nectar of flowers. This process not only produces honey but also plays a crucial role in pollination, which is vital for the growth of many crops. Bees are essential to our ecosystem, and their role in honey production is just one of the many ways they contribute to our environment. This makes it a more appealing alternative to processed sugars. Honey has a lower glycemic index than white sugar, meaning it doesn't spike blood sugar levels as quickly. This can be beneficial for those looking to manage their blood sugar levels, but it's still important to use it sparingly. However, it's not a free pass to unlimited sweetness. Even though honey is natural, it's still high in calories and sugars. Overconsumption can lead to weight gain and other health issues, so it's crucial to enjoy it in moderation. Even natural sweeteners need to be consumed in moderation. It's easy to get carried away with the idea that natural equals healthy, but balance is key. A little honey can go a long way in adding flavor and sweetness to your dishes without overdoing it. Remember, knowledge is power when it comes to our health. By staying informed about the foods we eat, we can make better choices that support our overall well-being. So, the next time you reach for that jar of honey, you'll know exactly how to enjoy it responsibly. Honey is indeed a powerhouse of nutrients. It contains vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. These elements contribute to overall health and well-being. Honey is known to soothe sore throats and coughs. It can be a natural energy booster. Honey also aids digestion and promotes good sleep. These benefits make it a popular choice for health-conscious individuals. Honey's antioxidant properties are noteworthy. These antioxidants protect our bodies against cell damage. They fight free radicals and reduce the risk of chronic diseases. Manuka honey, in particular, is prized for its potent antibacterial properties. It's used topically to heal wounds and burns. These medicinal benefits contribute to honey's long-standing reputation as a healing agent. While honey offers a plethora of benefits, it's crucial to remember that it is still a form of sugar. Honey contains natural sugars like fructose and glucose. These sugars, while natural, can still lead to blood sugar spikes if consumed excessively. This is particularly important for individuals with diabetes or those at risk of developing the condition. Overconsumption of honey, despite its natural origin, can contribute to weight gain and other health issues.
Too much sugar in the diet, regardless of the source, can lead to inflammation. It can also increase the risk of heart disease and other chronic conditions. Therefore, moderation is key when incorporating honey into your diet. Enjoy its sweetness responsibly. For some, honey isn't just sweet, it can be a source of discomfort. Honey allergies, though rare, are a reality. Symptoms can range from mild itching and hives to severe anaphylactic reactions. It's crucial to seek immediate medical attention if you experience any unusual reactions after consuming honey. Moreover, honey can contain pollen, which can trigger allergies in sensitive individuals. Those with seasonal allergies or pollen allergies need to be extra cautious. Local honey is often touted as a remedy for seasonal allergies, but evidence to support this claim is limited. Always consult your doctor before using honey for medicinal purposes. Section 5 The Infant Formula Dilemma Honey and Babies A Dangerous Mix One of the most important warnings about honey is its danger to infants. Honey can contain spores of Clostridium botulinum bacteria. While harmless to adults, these spores can produce toxins in an infant's immature digestive system, leading to infant botulism, a serious and potentially fatal condition. Never give honey to children under the age of one year. Their digestive systems are not yet equipped to handle the bacteria that honey might contain. This is a non-negotiable rule for the safety and well-being of your baby. Opt for alternative sweeteners or simply rely on the natural sweetness of fruits and vegetables for your little ones. Section 6 Honey vs. The Sweet Contenders Comparing Natural Sweeteners Honey is not the only natural sweetener on the block. Many alternatives exist, each with its own pros and cons. Maple syrup, derived from the sap of maple trees, contains antioxidants and minerals. Agave, a nectar from the agave plant, is sweeter than sugar but has a lower glycemic index. Stevia, a natural, plant-based sweetener, has zero calories and does not impact blood sugar levels. Consider your health goals and preferences when choosing a sweetener. Section 7 Maple Syrup A Saptastic Alternative Maple syrup, with its distinct flavor, is a popular alternative to honey. It's a good source of manganese, a mineral that plays a role in bone health and metabolism. Maple syrup also contains antioxidants, though in lower amounts compared to honey. However, it's important to note that maple syrup, like honey, is still a form of sugar. When choosing maple syrup, opt for darker grades like grade B or grade C. These grades have a richer flavor and higher antioxidant content. Enjoy maple syrup in moderation, drizzled over pancakes, waffles, or used as a sweetener in baking. Remember, even natural sweeteners need to be consumed mindfully. Agave nectar, derived from the agave plant, has gained popularity as a natural sweetener. It has a lower glycemic index compared to sugar, meaning it doesn't spike blood sugar levels as rapidly. However, agave is high in fructose, a type of sugar that is metabolized differently by the body. Excessive fructose consumption can lead to health issues such as fatty liver disease and insulin resistance. Therefore, while agave may seem like a healthier option due to its lower glycemic index, moderation is key. Be mindful of your overall sugar intake, even from natural sources. Stevia, derived from the stevia plant, stands out as a natural, no-calorie sweetener. It doesn't raise blood sugar levels, making it a favorable option for individuals with diabetes or those watching their sugar intake. Stevia is significantly sweeter than sugar, so a little goes a long way. However, some people find stevia to have a slightly bitter aftertaste. It's available in various forms, including liquid drops, powder, and granules. Experiment with different forms and brands to find one that suits your palate. Stevia can be a great alternative for sweetening beverages, desserts, and other treats without the added calories. If you choose to include honey in your diet, it's essential to do so safely. Choose raw, unprocessed honey whenever possible. Processed honey undergoes heating and filtering, which can diminish its nutritional value. Raw honey retains its natural enzymes and antioxidants. Start with small amounts of honey to assess your tolerance. Observe how your body reacts and adjust your intake accordingly. Pair honey with foods rich in protein and fiber to slow down sugar absorption. This helps prevent rapid spikes in blood sugar levels. Navigating the world of sweeteners can be tricky. Honey, while natural, comes with its own set of considerations. 
Be mindful of sugar intake, potential allergies, and risks for infants. Explore alternative natural sweeteners like maple syrup, agave, and stevia. Ultimately, the best sweetener for you depends on your individual health goals and preferences. Consult with your doctor or a registered dietitian for personalized guidance. Make informed choices and enjoy sweetness in moderation for a healthier, happier you. Like, share, subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.